As a parent, I desired that my son would have his own one-on-one -on -one face to face encounters with Jesus, just as I was having in the secret place. And I created a resource for parents to lead their children into encounters at bedtime. Now we know from the example of Samuel that children can hear the voice of God and they can hear it very clearly. God speaks to us in dreams and visions in the night and um, he also meets with us in this realm of encounter. And I wanted to open that up for my son so that he would have his own personal relationship with Jesus. Now this resource is called Jesus in my garden and I'm going to read a little bit from it. But I wanted to tell you about how I use it with my son. We use it at bedtime. So we have like our prayer time where we pray for things that happen during the day. We, we give God thanks. We pray for family members and we just, you know, we let him speak to us. And then we step into an encounter and I love leading my son into the heavenly realms. I mean, I learned so much from what he's experiencing. And as a parent who's you know, familiar with the realm of encounter, you can be that covering and you can bring that discernment into your encounters together. So I'm going to read um, the first devotional that I wrote. It's called The Garden in Your Heart. And the scripture verses for, for that chapter are Genesis 2 verse 8. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And the second verse is from 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. We are co-workers with God, and you are God's cultivated garden, the house he is building. All right, so this is just an example of what's in the book. Let's go for it, and you guys will have an idea of what it could look like. Did you know that your heart is a garden? Father God planted a beautiful garden in your heart. The garden of your heart is where Jesus loves to meet with you and to spend time with you, just like how he did with Adam and Eve. We can meet Jesus in our garden and see him using the eyes of our hearts. Let's close our eyes and open the eyes of our hearts and meet with Jesus there now. Let's pray together. Jesus, I want to meet you in the garden of my heart. With your eyes closed, see yourself entering your garden. You might see yourself going through a door or a garden gate. Take a moment to look around you. What does your garden look like? You might see large green trees bearing different types of fruit, perhaps mangoes, peaches, apples, or maybe even fruit that you have never seen before. The whole garden is filled with the beautiful and delicious fragrance of the fruit. It's your garden, so you can pick any of the fruits and have as much as you like. Go ahead and pick a fruit that you would like to taste. As you are eating, do you notice any animals in your garden? Perhaps a bushy-tailed squirrel scurrying up a tree trunk? Or colorful butterflies fluttering from one flower to another? Do you hear the birds joyfully chirping away in the treetops? Take a moment to listen to all the sounds in your garden. Now let's go and find Jesus. Sometimes he is sitting on a bench by the trees, enjoying the sunshine, whistling a merry tune. You might even catch him playing a musical instrument. Did you know that Jesus can play all your favorite songs? Other times, you can find him playing with the fish in the river. He's always having fun and loves it when we join in. I think I hear him laughing even now. Let's follow the sound of his voice. 
Do you see him? His smile brightens up the whole garden. See his arms open wide and just run into them. Feel Jesus hold you tightly. Take a deep breath and breathe in the smell of Jesus. What does he smell like? Jesus is bending down so that you are face to face with him. Do you see how beautiful his eyes are? Let's spend some time now with Jesus in our garden. You can come to the garden anytime you want to meet Jesus and he will start showing you all the wonderful places in heaven. And it's that simple. Children are not complicated and they can step into that and start to really experience that love and that affirmation that belonging, that coming home and the presence of Jesus just before they fall asleep. And when they fall asleep, then they're transitioning from this realm into the realm of heaven to where Jesus is. And like I said before, you'll be surprised at the things that they tell you the next day at the breakfast table, what they experience with Jesus. And I really encourage you to write those things down because they are so precious. So... Yeah, that's the resource. It's called Jesus in My Garden. You can you can buy it on Amazon and other online bookstores. And I wish you um, a lot of fun with it. I pray that it blesses you and your little one. And yeah, talk soon. Bye.